Welcome to our demo on on-road filtering for end-to-end -end encrypted co-op messages. We demonstrate the implementation of our concept. Our concept introduces a trusted gateway, which will only forward packets which have passed an inspection. For this, the gateway can decrypt the messages. We use the co-op protocol for communication with a mode in a wireless sensor network. Let me now guide you through our setup. On the top left, you see the Firefox plugin Copper. We added some functionality to support multiple custom options, hash-based message authentication codes and AES decryption. Later, we will show in the debug options view that we added some option fields where you can edit the values. On the top right, you see the console log of the gateway, which is attached to our computer via USB. Here, you will see how an incoming packet is parsed and if it is dropped based on its HMAC. On the bottom left, you see outgoing and incoming message packet content of the client captured with Wireshark. On the bottom right, you can see two open modes. The left one is used as a gateway and will forward traffic from a client into the wireless sensor network and back. The right mode is a sensor mode in the wireless sensor network which will receive co-op requests and answer them. Let's start with a simple GET request without adding our custom options. First, we choose the light sensor, here called MAX44009. With a GET request, the mode should send back the current value of its light sensor. In the Packet Inspector Wireshark, we see that the GET request has been sent successfully. But in the console of the gateway, we see that the packet has been dropped. This is because we did not specify a correct HMAC. In fact, we did not specify any HMAC at all. So now let's turn on the options which we need for our protocol to let our message through to the wireless sensor network. Now we send another GET request, again to request the value of the light sensor. This time the HMAC is correct. Copper calculated it automatically. It uses the whole co-op packet as input and a pre-shared key as input key. Now that the packet was not dropped, we see the requested value in the payload. When we have a look at the packet in Wireshark, we see that payload is not transmitted in plain text. The encrypted payload has to be decrypted by the client, in this case the Firefox plugin Copper. Thanks to the decryption in the plugin, we see the proper value. Note that in the console we can also read the proper value as the gateway also has access to the pre-shared key. It decrypts and inspects the message before forwarding it to the client. Let's send another GET request to the light sensor. This time I am holding my hand over the mode to achieve lower brightness. And indeed the value shrunk. Now let's test the POST request. We have our options activated, so we're good to go. We choose Toggle. This is used to turn on and off a red LED on the mode. And the LED turned on, as you can see in the bottom right video. Now let's switch off the custom options. When we now try to send another post to turn the LED off again, we see that the packet was dropped as expected, since none of our custom options were sent. So, again with our options, we can turn off the LED with a new POST request. Last but not least, we demonstrate the use of the OBSERVE request. This time, we choose the button, so we will get notified when the button is pushed down and released. Here, I first push the button down, and I release it again. You can check the console output to see that the packets are all valid and not dropped. In this video, we demonstrated that our concept fully integrates with Coop. It offers a lightweight alternative to DTLS, including on-the-fly packet inspection on the gateway, while ensuring end-to-end -end encryption. Thanks for watching our demo on on-route filtering for end-to-end -end encrypted Coop messages. Please find more information in the description of the video.